Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm going to keep going through all of these joints. It's the same, it's the same uh, workflow for all of them. This, you just select the two that you're blending between and then you smooth. Make sure everything else is locked down. So I'm going back into paint skin weights. And um, everyone that's not messing with this stuff, you're, you're free to, uh, to go eat. I mean, if, if, you're, um, if you're doing this too, you can, you can take a snack. But everyone else, you're on break for, uh, come back at like 6.25. I'm still gonna be doing this throughout. So feel free to follow along with me, because I, I, want, I want nobody be, to be left behind. So for finger two, I'm going to unlock arm wrist, right? Because this, this wrist is controlling this fall off right here. Look how much look how much zone it controls. Let me turn on turn off color ramp. Look how much of this zone it controls. Controls right up to that knuckle. So I'm unlocking wrist, and I'm gonna unlock a finger too. Because we wanna we wanna fix this knuckle's weights right there. See that? See how it's pulling that knuckle so hard. Uh, I'm gonna do the classic um, set keys. So I'm just pressing S on this control, going further along. The time slider, pressing S again. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to. I'm also just going to file save as right now because, God, I don't want you guys to lose your progress. Please file save as if you're doing this. Um, I'm just going to do. What should I call this? Yeah, whatever. I should just flooded too. Even though it's not flooded, I'm actually smoothing the weights out now. Um, all right, so now we have this finger bending, but we need to make this transition work nicely. So let's click on that paint skin weights tool, arm wrist, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna go back to smooth mode. Let's keep our opacity at 0.4, sure, and we'll start to pull this knuckle shape out. See how, that, see how that smoothing kind of brings that back to a more, a less extreme value. And I can't really see these verts down here. Also color ramp, I want to get some color ramp in there because it's just easier to see. I'm just going to start smoothing this. Ah, yes. He is so smooth. So let's smooth that out. See how it looks. That looks better. You could definitely use some more smoothing, though. Oops. Painted a little bit too much, so I'm just control Z. -ing. Right, so that's looking good. Now I'm going to delete those keys again. On the control, I just clicked on the control, shift, left click, dragged in that time slider, right clicked, delete. And I'm gonna rotate this finger downward. And I'm gonna go into paint skin weights again. I didn't set keys on this one because I'm lazy. Make sure you're locking that arm, uh, that, that wrist. And we're unlocking finger one and finger two because that's, that's the, those are the joints we're blending between. That we're blending between these joints right here, these two ones. So unlock those, we need to get this to be a nice gradient fall off. So just use your smooth tool. And go over all of those bad boys. 
all of those bad boys. There we go. This way they're not crumpling as much. It's a nicer fall off. There we go. Nice. It's looking nice, looking crisp. We can go back in, we can, uh, I'm just pressing W, and then I'm left clicking on that control again. I'm just gonna zero out that rotate Z value in my channel box. I'm gonna do the same for this finger. I just rotated it down a little bit. Left click the mesh. Hold right click paint skin weights tool. And I'm working between these two now. So I need to unlock finger three and I'll need to lock finger one. And I am smoothing between those now. Right there. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. That's looking good too now. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's the process guys. I'm just gonna keep doing this until we finish up the, the hand. So I wanna see all of these turned in. I wanna see a complete 100% submission rate for this assignment. I don't want anyone falling behind. Because hey, you might you might hate this portion of the class, very understandably so. <laughs> it's an awful portion. Um, but if you want a job in 3D stuff, like you don't have to be doing this. You could be an animator. You could, you could be a lighter. You could just put lights in a scene and make sure it renders nicely. You could be um, a VFX person who does like explosions and the water simulations. You can do, there's just so many different outlets. But uh, for this class though, I need to see these assignments from you guys. I need to see them. All right, so I'm gonna do finger three and then arm wrist. because we need to blend this transition, right? Uh, since this is a little bit of a complex spot, I always, I always do the, the animation version where I kind of set two keys on the timeline with S at different poses and then work from there just because it can get, can get a bit complicated. So I'm gonna go paint skin weights. Make sure your wrist is unlocked and your finger is unlocked. Finger three, we're doing now. And smooth between those. Up there. I'm gonna smooth down here as well. And let's go a little bit further on the timeline. There you go. So you can see how this is blending into that pose. Just getting that transition to be nice and blended. And let's see what it looks like. Looks pretty good. So 
looks pretty good. Here we go. All right, and then finger oh, uh, oh, 01 and 2, those are what we need to blend between. Make sure your wrist is locked down. We don't want to mess with the wrist weights anymore. We're just looking for finger 3 uh, oh, 01 and finger 3 oh, 02. And if you're really paranoid, as always, right click, lock inverse selection, and that locks everything else on that list besides what you have selected. So I'm unlocking these two. Let me go back in. I'm going to delete my keys on that finger so it's not distracting when I'm trying to do the rest of this. And I'm just going to bend this control a little bit. I'm going to click on the, the mesh, paint skin weights. And time to smooth. Look at that smooth transition here. There we go. Looking pretty good. And then the last one, we need to lock down everything except for the finger tip and the joint before it, right here. So it's just these two. Very nice. And then I'm just gonna smooth between them. And let's bend the control a little bit to see what it looks like when it's deforming. Paint skin weights. There we go. I'm just smooth in between. Back in, smooth a little bit more. All right. Zeroing that out. And we're on the home stretch, just the pinky and the thumb left. Let's do it. Let's hopefully get it done before the rest of the class comes back. Paint skin weights tool. I'm locking these two fingers down and I'm locking, I'm just gonna do lock inverse because I'm paranoid, like I said before. Finger 04, 01, that's what I'm unlocking because I'm working with this one. And I'm blending between that and the wrist. So I'm making sure everything besides the wrist and the finger 401 is locked. And the ones unlocked are the finger 401 and the wrist. I'm going to bend this into position. Actually, I'm just going to do the classic set a keyframe with S, rotate a little bit, S again, and then paint skin weights to it. So here, I can go to my wrist, do smooth. You know the drill, my friends. You know the drill. We're just smoothing all of this. 
Sometimes uh, the smooth works better if you, if you use like the other joint. You can get like a, a just better visualization of it. Go. I'm just smoothing. That's all I'm doing. All right. I'm shift, left click, dragging, and deleting those keys on that timeline. Boom. Next step, I'm gonna bend this one a little bit. Click on my mesh, hold right click, paint skin weights. I'm looking for finger 402 and 01. There we go. Yeah, because I need to get this transition to look nice. I'm unlocking both of those. Actually, I'm going to lock inverse selection and then unlock the other one just because I want to be sure. You can tell that I've had a lot of battles with skinning in the past based on how paranoid I am about that. Right, that's all smoothed. Now we need to do the smoothing between these two. I'm going to rotate that other one back into position. Rotate this down a little bit right here. Paint skin weights, I'm gonna lock inverse and then just unlock those two. Right there, because I want this transition to look nice. All right, so that is bending nicely now. Hell yeah. Just three more joints, my friends. All right, so I'm clicking back on the paint skin weights tool. I'm just going to click a random one that's locked and just right click lock inverse selection just so I have the entire list done. Now I need to fix the transition between this arm I mean the, the wrist and the thumb. So unlock the, the wrist because we need those weights to be accessible so we can start smoothing between them. And then unlock that thumb 01 right there. And what we need to do is find this control for the thumb with the base of the thumb's control. And I'm gonna do that setting keyframes. So I'm just rotating it to different positions. I'm going to do a few on this one because the thumb is opposable, right? So it can move in a lot of different ways. Oops. Move in a lot of different ways. And it needs to look good in a lot of them as well. So I put, uh, you can see the, the motion it's doing. Because 
that that thumb can move crazy ways. And we need just to look good on, on a lot of those different poses. So let's do, I just set like four keys or so on that. Then I left click the mesh, went to paint skin weights tool, I went to arm, wrist and thumb are the only ones that are unlocked. And you guessed it, I'm smoothing again. We're just smoothing this blend in here. This underside one is definitely needs some smoothing. See that? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. There you go. It's a little bit, a little bit harsh right there. Let's smooth this one out. All right, very nice. Now I'm going to lock the inverse again. And then I'm just gonna be working with thumb 01 and 02. So I'm unlocking those two. I'm also gonna delete those keys on that rotator control right here. You can see them on the timeline. I'm gonna shift, left click, drag, right click, delete. Just because it's so much easier to do that rather than stopping your, your smoothing and then going into the control and moving it in an arbitrary direction. And then this one, we're going to just rotate downward. I'm going to go paint skin whites. I'm going to select these. I'm going to right click lock inverse just because I'm paranoid. I'm saying that a lot because I want you guys to know that that's a very important step because I just want to blend between at this fall off here. So I'm just going to smooth those weights. I'm going to press B and left click drag to shrink my brush. And there we go, yeah, that's about as good as we're gonna get that. And this last one, this last digit, we're gonna bend that a little bit and then make sure that this looks good with a smooth. So paint skin weights, make sure everything else is locked besides these last two. And then we're gonna smooth, boom, there we go. All right, and that is a character, or not a character, that is an arm that is skinned. That is a skinned arm right there. Everything is looking juicy. Let me go to the paint skin weights list. I'm gonna go back to my paint skin weights tool. We're completely done now. We're locking everything. I don't want to see that anymore and just so you guys can see the finished arm skin weights i can go oh maybe you roberto he's uh might have unmuted his on accident um you can see here all of like where, where those weights are 
for this like last tip, I want you guys to really understand that it's from that joint onward like where that goes, uh, where, the, where the skin weights are. So you can see how they kind of lay out and how they look when they're nicely done in a methodic way. Boom, right there. Um, something happened to, oh shoot, something happened to Lindsay's MacBook. Damn. Uh, it might not be in class after you get it fixed. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. Well, hopefully she can get up and running again. Um, but that is, that's everything for that arm. It could be a character. It could be, yeah, like, uh, honestly, did like, you could, you could straight up just, uh, oh, one important step. Perhaps the most important, file save. So once you get that shit done, save it. I don't want you losing skinning progress. Just file save as, get it done. But yeah, you can you can just go in and you could like make this character or this this hand like crawl across the ground or something, you know, like so you can get a lot of personality in there. Like remember like Pirates of the Caribbean when they cut off like the skeleton soldiers' arms and you started like walking across the ship and stuff. I think, I think if, if you guys know Aubrey, he's like higher up in the, um, at the college now, but I think he actually animated that shot. <laughs> I think that was like one of his first gigs. Uh, it must have been that, I think. I don't know, whoops. Sorry, I was bugging my room. But yeah, that, I think that was like his, one of his first, one of his first gigs at, I think it was Industrial Light and Magic. I think that's where he, where he went. And now he's uh, now he's like me, I guess. <laughs> we're we're gonna, or I'm like him now, I guess. Working at the school, and it's it's pretty dope. But yeah, so you guys have your arms skinned now. Please turn those in because I want to grade those. I really want to grade those. And if you if you have a, a an assignment from before even if it's not like complete please turn it in so i can grade something like uh, there, there's no there's no reason that like, I, like i'm not a i'm not a strict like harsh grader like it i just want you guys to go through the steps and kind of kind of turn something in so i can grade it i also included that that catch-up video that's 45 minutes long that goes through that. That one starts at the at the ZBrush section, and then it just goes through all this. This is a very thorough way of of getting the uh, arm assignment done, though. So, if you're looking for something to follow, please follow this one. Um, all right, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go pee and get a drink of water again. So I'll be back in a second. Well, I'll be back. I'll probably be back in like uh, five.
<clears throat> what is up? Yeah, I was just uh, petting my cat and chatting with the roomies in there. So we've done we've done the whole the the breaking the arm now so please if you if you need me to go over anything again or if you're running into problems ask like don't don't feel don't feel nervous i know it's 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 a bit harder in during a quarantine to for me to kind of engage with you guys like normally in, in class it's just me walking around like i'm still saying all the same things but i'm walking around and then i'm able to kind of see if people are messing up part of their their hand or something like that. so it's a lot more hands-on in there uh no pun intended but uh the uh like i'm able to address problems that come up so i, I need you guys to kind of ask me questions when you when you run into problems because i can't i can't visually see your your progress or screen you know during quarantine so yeah please just save out that file whatever Maya file you were working on for the for the arm. For instance, mine's C users, Mikey boy downloads, arm bind skin flooded too. And then put that in the Dropbox. Cause I want, I want to grade these things. I want you guys to get good grades. So please submit that. The Dropbox, it, it's not going to be called like arm assignment or anything. It's called it's called just character rig. So that's the one that you just drop it to. All right. Yo, Lindsay's back. Nice. What's up, Lindsay? Oh, Lindsay, I don't know how long you were gone for. I don't know if you're just joining up, but um, I basically just went through a massive kind of step-by-step -step, uh, checklist for the arm because I'd, I'd, I'm just trying to get people to turn in the arm assignment for their, instead of the character, you know? Like you had the option between skinning your character or, or uh, like rigging the, uh, your character or rigging your arm. So I was just like, here, this is, this is what we're gonna do um, because we don't have much time left. Uh, Hi, well, my computer did a weird. <laughs> so yeah, I was just going step by step through that arm because I want everyone to be caught up to, to be animating, right? Because we're, we're in the animation section of the class. And uh, I want to give you guys as much time to do that as possible because 
animating is hard. <laughs> it's not, it, it's like a very low barrier to entry. It's just like setting keys, but uh, getting it to look good is, uh, takes a while. Takes a while. But yeah, so I was just going over that. And um, so now everyone should be caught up. That was about, that wasn't too long. That was just about two hours. Probably two hours because I, I did I did waffle on about a lot of random stuff in there, but it's to be expected. All right. Oh, my skin has weird spots. I'll send a pic in Discord. Yes, please do. Please do. Help, please. You know what? This is the weirdest thing. When you move the controls, does it move regularly? Lindsay? Like, does it move how you were expecting? Uh, let me check real quick. Because I, I've seen this twice now uh, with, with two different students. And you're the third now. So I've seen this three different times now. I'm beginning to think this might be some sort of bug with Maya 2020, specifically. Because people would open up their file, they would find these weird spots, the file would be very unstable and crash. Um, so I'm, I'm curious if that's what's happening with you as well. I think it might. I think it could. Um, it's not attached anymore, like ah, the it's skin and the skeleton. Yeah, yeah, Ricardo, Ricardo's saying it. it's a curse. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, like um, <laughs> send send me the file, cause I I just okay. I just do some dumb random stuff and it seems to fix it, and it, I don't know what's I'm not changing any weights I'm not doing anything, it's just it just works <laughs> somehow. Um, Hopefully, at least. Hopefully, it'll work. So you, you can just drag and drop that into Discord, or you can uh, email it to me. Well, I'm guessing some people are probably finishing up their arms. So again, I'm trying to make this as clear as possible. Please ask me questions if things go wrong. <laughs> like I'm here for I'm here for you guys. Um, but if you if you're done with the arm, then uh, you can move on to animating. You can grab those rigs that uh, that I that I uh, uploaded to Beachboard. You can. Pop those into your scene with the reference uh, by creating the reference, and then get your environment going and starting starting to animate. Because we need to be moving characters. We need to be moving characters around. Um, yo, Lindsay, did you send your uh, character over or no? 
I don't, I don't see my email or anything. Oh, nice. Let's, I'm going to download this bad boy. File, open scene. Wait's weird. Don't save. Okay. So Lindsay, when you were moving, when you were moving your controls like this, like this way. Now it works for some reason. I it, don't know. It wasn't working. For right. Me. Yeah, that's what people are saying. Like people are saying that like it's not working, and then they send it over to me, and then it works, and then I just do some dumb stuff. I'm gonna do exactly what I did for everyone else. <laughs> I'm just going to, what I did was I pressed three. All right, it might crash here. I pressed three to get smooth preview. And I pressed one. And then I went to edit, delete all by type, non deformer history. Remember, if you delete all history, that's going to delete all of your skin weights and it's going to wreck everything. Non deformer history. And then we move this. It still works. I'm going to click on here. I'm gonna go to paint skin weights tool. And this is looking about right. The arms I don't think are bound yet. Did you do the arms or did something break? Um, I thought I did. Oh shoot. See, the, only the legs are done in this one. Everything else is bound to that root joint. You see that? Yeah. Weird. Um, but yeah, so. Hmm. So I should join the arms again? I thought I pressed um, skin. All or bind the skin. Bind skin and then got all of them in there. It should have done that, but I don't know. When I, when I go down the list, they don't have any weight on them. Um, so you, and I haven't done the weights yet. No, I was just the. Just the legs. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, it, it, wait, were you were you there for the start of class or no? And no, I wasn't here. Ah, I was yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, because I just went over like the, the skinning method. I'll just give you a quick preview. Um, basically, the workflow for getting like pretty flawless skinning is to keep in mind one, that like spine one, this, this control spine one, is gonna have white stretching from its start to the next joint. So all this in here is going to be all this is going to be white right here and it's going to only be this area up until spine two um, and what I do basically at the start is and you can you can rewatch the video on how I do the arm um, is I basically go into select mode with everything unlocked I unlock everything I go into select mode I go into vertex mode and then I select everything past that joint. Just every vert, every single vert is past that joint is selected. And then I go back into paint mode. And then I click on that spine one. And then since all these weights are on root, not, like I need to I need to add those onto different joints that aren't the root to get them to start moving. So everything um, I'm selecting spine one. I'm going to add, I'm flooding everything there. Uh, probably shouldn't flood the tail to that, but this is just an example. And then I do spine two. And then I click uh, select, go into vertex mode, drag select over everything. And notice how like the bottom of my selection is kind of getting right above that 
um, that spine joint. And I'm going to get some of these in here too. I want to get some of these. So our, we're doing a first pass, kind of selecting everything. And then we go back into paint mode in here, and then flood onto that spine too. So now spine one has control over that. Don't disregard the tail. Um, and then spine two has control over there. And we keep doing this for spine three. I go back into select mode, vertex, and drag over everything. Then I go into paint, flood. And then for spine four, spine four is kind of just con control. Pretty much everything except for below, Nothing too far below that. Now let's get the rest of this in here too, just so it's not confusing. Paint, flood. Then we have to do L clav. I'm, I'm just doing one side because you can mirror it over since this model is symmetrical. So I'm doing L clav. Select, so the class starts right there. So my selection is going to as well. And then we drag select over that. Boom, right there. Paint mode, flood. Shoulder, select, going into vertex mode. Just adding to this selection. Paint, flood, elbow, same thing. Select, paint, make sure you have the elbow selected, flood, so the elbow controls everything down there. Forearm, we don't have to worry about that. It's a twist control that I don't think works very well, um, but we don't need to worry about that. I'm doing wrist. Select, and then paint, flood. And then you do all your fingers. But yeah, so now, just a little preview. Uh, let me go into shaded mode. When we move these, see how it's moving all those different parts now? So it's just like a very, very quick bind, and then you do, because I don't know when you came in, then you go in one by one and say you wanted to fix this elbow area for the elbow and the shoulder, right? Because that's, that's where this fall off is happening. You basically right click one, lock inverse, unlock the other one. So now you're just only dealing with those two and then you just smooth. So you can see, see that 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 bend is not as rigid now. It's a little bit softer. It's a little bit more natural. So you do you do a, a one one whole pass of flooding, and then you do smoothing like that. And now this can can bend a lot better. So we separated into like two two parts there basically, but yeah. So that's that's the workflow. I'm going to send this file back to you because uh, that seems to help with um, whatever bug that is because it, it kind of like throws all of your weights around and then like nothing's bound, nothing works anymore. Um, yeah, thank you. Weights fixed. Um, you might have to open it multiple times. Uh, Ricardo, do you remember what you did? to? Because I remember you opened it on your side and it wasn't working and then one time you opened it and it worked. Like, do you know what was happening there, Ricardo? Wait, which one? Uh, remember when like you were having the same bug with like the spotted? Oh yeah, yeah. I things. think, I think it never fixed itself for me. I, th I think it worked before 
we um we fixed those little uh vertexes that didn't want to move yeah and then we you helped me with mirroring you pretty much did that and then when you sent it over that's when it was like all the spots oh weird okay yeah hmm. Hmm. Uh, well hopefully there's like articles about this by next semester if yeah can. right like that's it's really annoying to deal with and it's like it's been repeatable so i don't know we'll see uh boop, 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 boop. let me find this it's fixed yeah all right so Lindsay, grab that file and let me know if it works for you or not Mm -hmm. All right, for everyone else, does anyone have any questions on just anything? Anyone have any animations they want me to look at? Want me to review? I can give some, some tips, some pointers. Oh, Anna, you got some animation? Let's, let's see it. I mean, it's, I mean, it's supposed to be rough, you know, like, that's what we're, uh, we're just starting it, you know. Um, I think, uh, what's the best way to do this? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, it is. It's 105 megabytes. Oh, whoa. Shit. Hmm. Um, hmm. I think, shoot. Oh, nice, Lindsay. Good to hear. Yeah, Lindsay, once you get, once you do all that, that same like flooding for each joint and then smoothing between each one. Um, then you can just mirror your, your skin from the left to the, to the right. That way you don't have to do it twice, you know, and you're good. Um, 105 send it by email. Fuck, why is it 105 megabytes deep? I don't get why it keeps doing that. Um, let me, let me look up. No, because it, it's just a play blast, right? That you did. Not sure what play blast is. Oh, yeah, it's uh, remember when I was showing you could just right click the, the timeline in here and then play blast and it makes that movie.
And if you you could also stream your uh, screen to the class, and then we could watch if that's possible. All right, I think I need to enable that option for everyone. Let's see. 